What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Project Blaze AOSP ROM. Pardon me for my voice guys, I still have cold. Let me show you this is the Android 14 build and the build date here is of 15th October 2023. I have flashed this ROM a couple of days ago and let me tell you my flashing experience first because every time a newer Android version update comes, it becomes a lot more messier because some of the recoveries will not work properly for flashing and all. Let me actually tell you in detail about this. So here, if I go into the support group of this particular ROM, you will see in the recovery section, there are two recoveries, this pitch black recovery and the orange fox recovery are 11.1.4. Well, these two, I don't know about the orange fox, the pitch black recovery I have tried, that actually did not work for me. It used to show uh, error one, even though I have formatted data properly and stuff. So it cannot really flash. It's showing that device mismatch kind of error, even if I use the pitch black recovery. Later on, I just tried the existing recovery that I have been using, the Orange Fox recovery. This is the Orange Fox R12.1 underscore 3 unofficial. You can just find this particular recovery with my video links. All of the Redmi Note 10 Pro videos that I have made should have this particular Orange Fox recovery link because I have been using it for a long time now. And this actually worked for me to flash an Android 14 ROM. Yes, the decryption may not work properly because after flashing, whenever I reboot to recovery, it does not ask me for any pin or something like that. And it doesn't show the internal storage contents properly. But otherwise, for normally flashing it, it worked perfectly fine. Enough talk about those kind of things. Now, let me show you in the Android version section. This is how it looks like. We have the Android version as 14 in case you are wondering about that, of course. And the security patch is October 5th, 2023. And if I tap over here, it shows this Android 14's logo. Looks so beautiful. And if I just press and hold over here, okay, not here. I have to do it from here. As you can see, it shakes and does this kind of animation. And you have this kind of uh, Pac-Man kind of thing in space. And if you just do this, this is just a simple game. It shows the speeds and all. All those things so yeah, this is the android 14 school easter egg now in the system settings we have a system updater already you can check for updates i think but it may or may not work not really sure and this is how it looks like on top now let me show you there is the thermal profiles already so that's really good about this rom you can set part apps thermal profiles to benchmark or stuff like that and here we have the usb configuration for convenience you can set it to file transfer let me go back. We have the gestures right here. In here, we have the quick open camera and we have the navigation mode. In the settings of it, we have the swipe to invoke assistant. That is actually working fine here. And we have the immersive UI lock and the back gesture edge lock, left edge, right edge customization and the immersive navigation. Let me go back. We have this kind of touch gesture as well. And it will actually show you a learning kind of process. If you just click on go back, it will show how to go back or stuff like that. So you can do that and it shows nice. This is just a guide. So this is new, I would say. Let me go to the three button navigation settings. We have the swap back navigation buttons or the swap back or recent buttons, you can say. Let me go back. We have the one handed mode as well. You can use the show notification option as well. And it works perfectly fine. No problems. We have the person hold power button action. You can set it to digital assistant and the prevent ringing option is also there. We also get a keyboard option separately over here. We have the on-street keyboard customization from right here. You can do in the security settings. This is how it looks like. It definitely shows a completely newer kind of look and it has this background app kind of access. We have the device lock and in here in the more settings, we do not have any kind of newer app lock or stuff like that yet. But yeah, they will be added in the future updates for sure. There is the Android system intelligence as well, health connect, all these things. In the device controls, you will find the fingerprint option. The face unlock is still not there. Here we have the screen lock settings and in here we have the power button instantly locks, enhanced pin privacy and the lock after screen timeout. Let me go back. We have the fingerprint option right here. And once you enter your pin, you will see there is the touch to unlock anytime option. If you want to disable that, you can. I've added two fingerprints. Now, there is no double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen as of today. So that's how it is. But just for locking and unlocking, you can just double tap to wake. As you can see, double tap to wake actually works fine. And the fingerprint scanner works perfectly. By the way, the clock definitely looks so beautiful in Android 14. It's just a marvelous experience, I would say. Let me try one more time. So yeah, the fingerprint scanner speed, it's working perfectly. And even when the screen is completely off, 
can just tap the fingerprint scanner as you can see it unlocks and look at that animation so yeah the fingerprint scanner works perfectly no problems whatsoever let me show you up close one more time so yep the fingerprint scanner is working and if you want to enable the always on display let me show you how it looks in the display settings go to the lock screen and enable this always show time and info and then you will see this is how the always on display clock actually looks like so beautiful and if you just press here just notice this animation definitely seems dope and if i try to unlock so it unlocks straight up but yeah in the lock screen and the always on display this clock jumps around which looks really really cool and talking about that if you go into the wallpapers and styles if you click on lock screen you will find the lock screen clock styles and in here as you can see if you just slide around you will find different clock styles and they definitely look really really cool i have to say if i go with this one i have to just go back i guess and right now if i show you so yeah right now in the always on display this is how it looks like and if i click here just notice the animation looks so beautiful let me try one more time always on display and the lock screen so definitely looks so good these lock screen clock animation of android 14 definitely are one of the best things that i have seen with android and just notice everywhere the animations and stuff of this like tapping and holding as well just looks so beautiful and the animations with android 14 definitely has improved a lot no doubt about that by the way this project blaze rom does not come with any kind of camera app so i have installed a camera this is the graphene os camera app and here let me show you it works fine no problems but you can make it even faster if you click on latency right here if you have to just swipe down once just click on latency and i have taken this particular photo just notice quality is decent i would say it's not bad and if you switch to the front camera yes front camera as well is working fine no problems whatsoever if you just tap here there is the exposure and the zooming option right here and if i go with the video mode there is the 1080p option the 4k option all those things but you cannot really change the fps i guess but yeah all these things are there that you can choose from and you can go into the more settings from right here and you can choose more stuff from this particular settings panel so this is a basic camera app that you can definitely use i would say yes the stock camera should have been there there is no stock camera present in this rom but maybe in the future of course you will get other stock cameras and eventually MIUI camera will be there in future but as of today you have to install your own camera you can of course use a g cam as well if you want in terms of quick toggles i would say yes the like most of the options are simply yet not there I cannot really find a always on display toggle, Wi-Fi kind of toggle and the Bluetooth and you can tap here to get the network stuff and we have the flashlight and all and we have the auto rotate, nightlight, hotspot, the Google Home controls appears like this and we also have the battery saver, the screen recorder appears like this, you have the device audio and microphone audio recording at the same time, we have the show touches, then we have the data saver, dark theme, extra dim, do not disturb, the nearby share, airplane mode, screen cast, etc. But yes. I can simply find a always on display toggle that is how it is the power menu appears like this you can go and like reboot normally advanced reboot options and stuff are not yet there and here at the android and geekbench score with a cpu stress test on this particular build to give you an idea about the overall ui performance in the settings of it we have the battery settings but it doesn't show anything like the battery temperature or stuff like that simply does not show up over here yet but let's talk about the battery life. I would say <laughs> I have tested it thoroughly with the Aku battery app. It shows a little bit like exaggerated numbers, but these are all estimated numbers guys with my usage. And here it shows about 12 hours of screen on time, which may not be true. 10 hours of screen on time should be good enough, I would say. And we have the screen off up to 18 days and the combined use up to eight days or a week, you can say. So that's a lot of battery life. And in the health settings, my battery health shows up as 83%, which is again, decent. After two and a half years of usage or maybe more than that, 83% battery health is decent in my opinion. And the fast charging is also working fine. No need to worry about that. By the way, the volume panel looks like this and you can expand the volume panel just like this. And there is the notification volume separately right now in Android 14. 
and in the settings of it we have the special audio and stuff like that and we scroll down more we have much more settings including with the me audio direct and also we have the haptic feedback option right here clear speaker option right here and we have the screenshot sound and stuff that you can disable by the way in the wallpapers and styles again let me show you one more time you can actually change the colors of the lock screen and we have the wallpaper changing option and we have the show notification on the lock screen and the more lock screen option you can get from right here this is just the display settings of the lock screen let me go back and in the home screen settings this is how it looks like we have the themed icons enabling option and the app grid you can set up to 5x5 five five and you can go and change to more colors i would say and enable the dark theme from right here but let me show you if you go into the more settings there is this ai wallpaper section and if you click here you will find these kind of wallpapers that you can actually change any detail of these wallpapers let me show you if you just click here there is this surreal cliff in shades of yellow and you can actually change the like ai kind of text let's change it to green and let's click on create wallpaper you need to be connected to wi-fi shows this kind of animation and there you go it gives you a wallpaper yes if you look very closely you can see there is a lot of sharpening going on and stuff like that but otherwise it's a really cool ai kind of wallpaper as you can see you can choose from these other options as well so yeah this is very very cool these ai wallpaper kind of like really looks so good and you can actually change the terrain stuff and with like different wallpapers you can do different things so this is really really good and you can click on inspire me to get a brand new wallpaper it takes about four or five seconds but it gives you a result so ai is really solid with android 14. and once you're willing to apply you can just click on over here and it will be applied and there is of course the other wallpapers like the living universe stuff and the normal live wallpapers will appear over here in the display settings it's pretty normal we have the brightness adaptive brightness stuff and we have the screen timeout up to 30 minutes display size and text night light the colors you can change it to boosted i have been using it with that and we have the smooth display so 120 hertz it's actually working fine no problems we have the pocket mode screen saver and the double dot wick and the custom display settings is there anti flicker and the high brightness mode both are not supported i guess with the stock kernel of this particular rom but let me actually show you with the test 2 for website it shows about 80 fps for the redmi note 10 pro it was the same with android 13 as well but with other browsers it may be showing up the 120 hertz kind of thing so yeah that's how it is but overall i would say yes the 120 hertz it's working fine no need to worry about it much and here let me actually show you you can go into the split screen free form pause app option from right here and this is how the recent panel actually looks like and go all the way to the left to clear all the apps from memory and in case you are wondering about the basic stuff yes safety net shows as failed not really sure if it will work actually but yeah as of right now it shows failed with the safety net test app so banking apps may not work otherwise the drm info shows as l1 so you can stream netflix or amazon prime videos in 1080p but the ir blaster actually works perfectly fine here one more really good thing is that you do get the google pixel like unlimited google photos and videos backup with this particular rom so that's really great if you want to test android 14 on your redmi note 10 pro this is the rom that i will recommend if you want to get a taste of these kind of newer clocks styles and stuff of android 14 you can definitely do that with this android 14 rom and one more thing is that once you enter pin it appears with these kind of character just notice so yeah this is a new feature again of android 14 so all these kind of things definitely makes a huge difference and android 14 definitely is gonna look really really beautiful overall with the ui and it improved the stability of the animations and stuff and i am definitely liking android 14 i hope more and more devices gets android 14 custom roms in future so that i can try them and show you guys how you can use it as your daily driver so give it a thumbs up if you liked it share this video with your friends if you want them to know about android 14 how it's running on the redmi note 10 pro please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is Tito from ktn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now